A lot of companies are working hard to integrate DJI's new air system with their Bynum flies and what better way to test out the new LED mode on the air unit than with one of these bad boys. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, this is kind of one of the first bite and flies you take out of the box that I've seen that's incorporating DJI's new digital HD FPV system in here. What this is, it's from iFlight, so I'm pretty excited for it because you know it's going to be good. It is the, I think it's the HD Mega B or something like that. I'm going to link it down below. There's two different versions. There's a version that doesn't take uh, the digital HD system, and it's just a normal analog system, but uh, the one I'm going to be flying around is the one with DJI in there. I can't wait to have some fun. What we're going to do, we're going to put it on the bench, break it down, look at the text and the specs and why this is a special craft that has a very, very specific or niche purpose. It's definitely not going to be for everybody out there. It's not for your bando ripping, it's not for your racing, nothing like that. And I would say it's kind of getting closer. It really is like a filming rig. First and foremost, this is about the footage you can capture. So that's what we're going to be doing. I've got somewhere pretty cool to go and test it and fly it around and hopefully this thing will excel. It's going to be perfect for the job. So so, I don't know, if you're into getting some awesome, unique footage, maybe you're doing real estate, maybe you're going to car shows, maybe you're just doing some filming that you don't, you can't do with a normal freestyle sort of drone because they're too big, too loud, they don't have prop guards, all that sort of stuff, this bad boy has got you covered. And now what we're going to do, we're going to break it down, look at the text and the specs very quickly, and then we're just going to add to the, well, not really the field, we're going to add to a special location. There is a ton of LEDs set up and uh, some big inflatables. I'm going to be flying around. It is, it is an absolutely awesome little park to fly around your drones in and I'm gonna say I couldn't do this without this craft because you need prop guards on there otherwise it would rip it all up and all that sort of stuff so it's gonna be cool to see what the footage comes back like but as a bit of an overview what you can see it's a three inch craft it is made for filming you take it out of the box you're buying it up there is a couple of different receiver options although I opened mine up and I took out my XM plus because look I've got the DJI radio controller so I was using that um, and inside really it's very very simple if we look at the components you've got one base frame which has these nice little spurs on the outside so it should be pretty tough. And then we've got some nice big juicy ducks surrounding some little three inch props in here. We do have some of these Zing motors, which are very, very exciting. I think they're 1407. 1408 and there what's the kv on here 36,000 kv i was flying mine around on a 4s moving towards the middle and this is where things get really really simple you just have your little esc at the back which was a 35 amp up to a 6s esc and a f4 flight controller and then that's kind of it besides the dji air unit which you people have seen to death of course that records on board on here as well as streaming back to the dji goggles and gives you some nice juicy hd footage now now one little thing I do like that I don't like on the normal DJI systems is their antenna placement is stupid. I do not know why they did it that way. But iFlight, they've at least had the sense to put in a nice little TPU adapter and that goes for both the uh, actual way that it cradles around in here and also at the back. So that means, and I'll put some pictures on the screen, but that means no longer do you have these stupid antennas where we'd normally be coming out the back of the air unit. They've got them at the back of the craft and I think that's a much better place. They shouldn't be popping off or anything anytime soon. So yeah, I've got to give props to iFlight. When it comes to designing their TPU and their 3D printed parts, they are absolutely killing it. Now, from moving on to the design of the thing, and I'm going to say... Uh, 10 out of 10. I really like the design of this quad in terms of it knows what it wants to do. It's not trying to be a freestyle quad. It's not trying to be a race quad. This quad is designed for flying around, getting beautiful footage that you cannot get with any other type of drone. You can't get the footage you're about to see with a DJI big filming drone. You can't get it with a race drone because if you bump into things, it's going to rip and scratch things. And, you know, these props we've got on here are very special props, I should mention too. You can see there's some gem fan tri-blade props, but they're ducted ones, specially made. So they've got the end cut off here. So there is a uh, uh, no really wasted real estate, wasted space spinning these bad boys around. And it does have a lot of power too. So the design, I think it knows what it wants to do and it does it well. If you're into filming, this definitely is something you might want to put in your quiver. Uh, the quality of the thing, I'm going to say, DJI seems to be killing it. They're very high quality. Their iFlight's been really doing well with the Nazguls, the Sedoras. So 9 out of 10 in terms of quality. There's nothing I really would complain about on here. All the solder joints, nice and shiny. And yeah, overall, just a well-designed quad and then finally that brings us on to the pros and the cons after the design the quality the components all that sort of stuff uh, i'm going to say uh 
it's not going to be for everybody. You can't go out. You can't do freestyle. You can't do racing. Well, not very well. You still can have fun and fly this thing around. And look, you still could do some flips and rolls, but that's it's not going to be as a good a performer as a, a pure racer, a pure freestyle. What this thing does do well, though, is it's going to get some gorgeous footage, allow you to get in nice and close, also safely. So when you're flying this thing around, it's like I keep saying, it is just made first and foremost for footage and that's what I think a lot of people are gonna like about it. That's what I like about it. And also another pro or maybe a con, it comes as one of the first bind and flies with DJI first built in. So uh, I don't know if that's only gonna suit a small market for some people and I think it's about 400 bucks or you can get, I think there's a cheaper version which is just a plain analog version and uh, you gotta strap your GoPro to it and stuff like that. I'll link both the versions down below but DJI's inside this one. Is that a pro or a con? It really depends on where you sit, what gear you've already got, all that sort of stuff. And also the price, because look, you're not, it's not that cheap for a uh, DJI air unit in here. I think it's coming in at 400 bucks. But that's it on the bench. What I want to do now, we're just going to go out to the uh, special place. We're going to fly around, have a look at DJI in here with the LED mode, what it looks like, how it turns up, and the sort of environments you can fly this thing around and just have a lot of fun. So let's go do it in three, two, one. Rightio out here in the field, pretty special today. We have an awesome course. I'm going to test out the LED version on the DJI's with this new little uh, iFlight Cine B, whatever it is. Let's do it, have some fun, and show you some juicy footage. Rightio, here we go on board, and of course, this is just the onboard air unit from DJI recording in HD. I'm going to say I'm kind of in two minds about this because uh, if you also should be strapping your GoPro on, if you are really professional, the GoPro with Hyper Smooth looks absolutely gorgeous, and I can see this is where this would really come into its own. Not only do you have the DJI footage that you can use to see and actually see all the details, get those great shots and frame them, but if you record it, throw on top with Hyper Smooth, I imagine some people can create some really, really special things with this. Uh, we'll talk about the flight characteristics because look they're not too amazing it is a stable little camera platform that you can navigate it's in tight little places look here with the yaw so when you do a bit of a hard yaw turn you notice because the drone is so flat it's going to drop a bit in that elevation so you're going to need to pop a little bit more throttle but i don't think people are buying this new crazy freestyle or crazy type of uh, acro or racing or anything it's just made for flying around capturing some good footage and the other part i want to mention that people might like as well because this is coupled up with the dji and that's all about the flight experience and the things you can see and it really is next level this one is a great explorer quad so you might be the sort of person who likes to go out to the bush flying through trees all that sort of stuff you've got that great video but also with the prop cards it's going to protect it so you can bounce off things fly around and just just keep going you're not going to be breaking any props and i know when i first started flying going exploring was one of the things that i love to do i still love going to do it in a drone like this i know trevor when i think it was the original flex rc owls or something they were like the first enclosed kind of ones and that's what these where these quads really excel so if you like to go exploring or you want to fly around and create some unique footage and some environments where you don't want to be too scared about bumping into things i think have a check this one out but for most people if you're doing acro or racing this isn't going to be the case but i don't know what do you guys think about this one i know it was a bit of a short different video but it's not every day that we get kind of a, a drone like this a three inch it's fully protected a rock in the uh, dji system in it and i got to give it to iFlight because they're making quads with a purpose and that's really important no you can't have a jack of all trades and be the you know what is it the jack of all trades master and none it's good when a quad knows exactly what it wants to be and it kind of pursues that in a good way so anyway let's uh hand it over to no one else because it was just me out flying today and we'll wrap it up in the studio but yeah overall i kind of like this one Rightio, so there it is. There's my review of iFlight's uh, Mega Sit, whatever this whoopy kind of thing is, this big Mega B. And overall, I really had a blast flying this thing around. It was great. I felt safe in the air. It responded well. I did notice if you kind of, when you're doing a hard yaw turn or a 180 yaw, because it's so flat all the time, I really did need to pop the throttle to level it out. It didn't take too much, <coughs> excuse me, to get used to it. But overall, I'm going to say... This one, if you already have a DJI system at home and you want to do a little bit of filming, this is an absolute no-brainer. Or if maybe you're going to a car show and you're looking at the analog rig or something like that and you're putting a GoPro on the top, this is one of your best options for getting some nice, and I'm not going to say juicy footage, just smooth footage of that you can't get with any other drone. Don't get it with freestyle racing in mind. This one is just for filming. So anyway, what do you guys think? Drop your comments down below about the uh, Mega B, whatever it's called, and all those sorts of things. I'd love to know. Is this something you'd pick up? Do you 
you enjoy filming? Do you even put a GoPro on your quad? Because some people don't even record their DVR. They just want to go and rip some packs and have some fun. And other people, it's all about the footage. Like that's why they fly. They love creating and putting these videos together of some really cool shots. And this is going to let you get some that you can't get with anything else. You know, imagine I can see some people doing some commercials or real estate or something, you know, with one of these crafts. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, drop your comments down below. Subscribe for more FPV related content. And as always, happy buzzing around. I mean, happy flying. Thank <laughs> you.